It doesn't show that you can cover tattoos with it, but I'm going to try just to see if it does. Hello there, and welcome back to my channel. I am Electric Linda, been a tattoo artist since year 2000, so I'm talking basically about tattoos and stuff around it. Um, in this video, I would like to try a specific covering makeup foundation thing, which is one of the first that showed up when I searched for makeup that would cover tattoos. Dermacol Makeup Cover Full Coverage Foundation, 100% original guaranteed by Dermacol. And this product has a lot of reviews and it has four stars. It doesn't show that you can cover tattoos with it, but I'm going to try just to see if it does. And I went ahead and bought, bought it on Amazon and I was not sure about which skin color to try out, but I bought the one, it said number 208. So I'm opening it up and this, this big, oh, almost like when you buy medicine, you get this big uh, how to use thing. So it's basically, actually, it's instructions, English, Dermacol makeup cover, and subsequently sold in Hollywood. Been dermatolog dermatologically tested. <laughs> yeah, you need to buy the base. Blah, 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 blah. Fix the makeup with Dermacol Invisible Fixing Powder, so you need to buy the fixing powder as well. It's always like, when you buy a shampoo, it says, oh, you need to use this with our same brand with our conditioner. And then you need the hair mask. And then you need this because you need to have the same brand. <laughs> of course, number four, use a makeup remover for a complete removal of the makeup according to your blah, 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 blah. Dermacol products are, have a range of makeup removers designed for specific skin types. <sighs> okay. Anyway, I didn't buy their hydration cream or their fixing powder or their makeup remover. I just bought this to try it. So I need to cover something that you guys can see easily. And so why not just try my hand? As you can see, I have a tan girl. You know tan girl? It is on my hand. So I don't have that much hair. So I'm gonna go and wash my hands just to make sure that it's easy to put this on. So I'll be right back. Dermacol Film Studio Baron Doll Prague Makeup Cover. Dermacol. Okay. Opening. I'm not gonna do, you know, all super pro and doing a sponge and all, so I'm just gonna use my fingers. Okay. Taking a little dash of this. Let's see there. Okay. Okay, I'm taking a lot. Okay. I'm just gonna kind of rub it on. I, it looks like it's kind of the right skin tone, actually. Isn't it? Or I'm not a pro at this at all. I'm just kind of rubbing it in, really, all over Tank Girl. So Tank Girl is going bye bye. I'm gonna even, I'm gonna do this also. I'm trying to get way just into the other tattoo so that it actually kind of looks like, you know, you know what I mean. I, I'm so bad at talking while I'm doing something where I'm focusing. So now I'm just gonna kind of smudge it towards, you know, the edges around it. And now it looks like it's just, it's just so, I don't know. Um, it looks very liquid, like it's, maybe I put too much on it, you know? But 
it did fully cover. So maybe I should have like, you know, maybe I should just put some powder on it or something. It did say, you know, like put fixing powder on it. I do have normal powder that I have on my face. Oh my God, this is like, cause I put too much on my finger at once, you know? So now I have them all in my hands and mm, okay. So I'm gonna just uh, use my regular Mac uh, powder and try to, cause I put a lot of this up. I need to just probably put a lot of this powder on. It's so much lighter here now than on my other hand. Um, so I guess I should have went gone for one, you know, a, a little darker one, but it is very, it's very covering, I must say, but you know, it looks very, I can actually just fade it down to my fingers and actually just cover my finger tattoos without adding more. That's pretty cool. But now I've kind of just like tried to smudge it out a little bit to not be as thick as I'm as it was here. But you see now you can actually see the old tattoos behind it and it's still very pale. So I guess to fix this, I'd have to use my own foundation that I use in my face. So I'm just gonna try to wash uh, most of the yucky foundation that I have on the inside of my hands. And then I'm gonna try my own foundation on top of this, okay? So now I have my own personal favorite uh, of my own foundation, which is uh, Makeup Forever Ultra HD, blah, blah, blah. I like this and I really feel that I found the one that matches my skin. So, but that's my face. How will this look on my hand? You see that this is more like the skin tone that I have. Um, this is not my profession, I'm sorry. I'm dabbing on the tattoos, on the fingers as well. Okay, well, it's not as pale as it was, but it's still not covering that much. I'm gonna try with more powder. You can still see the tattoos on the fingers because it's it's very difficult to put, you know, just the perfect amount of foundation on your hand. No, it doesn't look like I have a tattoo on my hand when I'm showing it to you like like this. But when you see it up close, um, I still feel like I can see the tattoos on my fingers, right? The negative thing I think about this is that it looks so, I mean, all my little tiny wrinkles and all the texture in the skin is so much more highlighted in a way. So you can see, I feel like, I feel like it looks like I have an elephant skin on my hand. It's not, I don't know if you can see it, but I feel like it looks like I've really covered my tattoos. I feel like I am Edward Scissorhands covering up his scars. Do you remember that one? Where she's like trying to help him to cover up his scars. I feel like my hand is Edward Scissorhands face right now. And that is not a good thing. So I will rate this. It needed help from my own foundation. Uh, because I bought this wrong color and it also needed an additional product which was fixing our powder you know to because it was so like it was a clay almost so I will give this like a dice rating you know from one to six and I will rate this with a dice three it'll be a dice three it would be a four if I didn't have to 
where you know um bring my own foundation and put it on top and um do the fixing powder and when i still did that it, it's still visible so i hope you enjoyed my little video subscribe to my channel if you want to see more tattoo related videos and hit the little bell if you want to and i will see you in my next video then right okay bye bye